guys. So, Happy New Year because it's 2013. This is going to be the year where I turn 20 and get old and nothing happens. But last year was, last year was 2012 and I had a good time in 2012. I mean, a lot of stuff happened. A lot of drama and just garbage. But overall, I think it was a decent year. For me, 2011 was the best year. And I doubt anything will ever top that. But, you know, just gotta stay positive. In comparison to other years, 2012 went by really, really fast. Like, I can't believe it's already been a year. Holy cow. Hey, I'm filming, guys. I'm filming. Can't you behave? I love you, too. I love you, too. Yes, I do love you. I do love you, too. Oh. Oh, so neglected. So neglected. You never get no love. So loved. But I love you. I love you. I love you. So, this year I unfortunately had to work on New Year's, and this is the first New Year's Eve that I've ever had to work. And I had to close, of course. <clears throat> so that meant that I was at work, working at midnight. But luckily for me, because it's me, and I can find fun in anything, okay? I got to work with two of my really good friends, Lacey and Marco. And at midnight, the managers took us up on the roof to watch fireworks, and our theater is sort of in the middle of town, kind of. Not really the middle, but you can see everything around it. It was one of the best views of fireworks in Las Vegas. So, you know, that was fun. It was a little bit cold, but it is January, so what's to be expected? And after work, I did get to go and have fun, you know, because it's me and I'm not going to not celebrate New Year's and not have fun. What? So Lacey, Marco, and I decided to go over to Lacey's house and have a sleepover uh, where we didn't really end up sleeping. We actually ended up staying awake until 6.30 when everyone fell asleep and work the next day was just torturous. So it was a really good idea. But it was also really bad. It was the worst good idea. No. It was the best worst idea I've ever had. We've ever had. So let's move on to uh 2013, because that's that's what year it is now. 2013. Have to keep saying that, or I'll forget and I'll think we're still in 2012. And plus, you know, I wasn't really expecting to be here still. Cause the world was supposed to end a couple weeks ago. So uh someone just called the Mayans about that. the world wasn't really ever gonna end. So everyone's, you know, talking about their New Year's resolutions and whatever, but I don't want to do New Year's resolutions this year. Like, I love the idea of the new year being a new slate and a new you and new, new. But I've tried doing New Year's resolutions in the past and they never really worked. I think I actually completed three of mine that I wanted to do this year, like last year, 2012, I completed three of my New Year's resolutions out of like 15, which is way too many. Don't make 15 New Year's mm -hmm. resolutions. And, or you could do it like I'm doing it this year and don't make any New Year's resolutions. But that's because, you know, there's, there's reasons behind that. I'm not doing New Year's resolutions this year because I never really finish them or do them and I kind of just forget about them after a month. Plus, I don't know why I have to wait until the New Year's to make improvements in my life and changes. So this year, I sort of do have a New Year's resolution, and it's just that when I want something to be changed or done or whatever, I'm just, I'm gonna do it. So pretty much, I'm doing my New Year's resolution by ear this year. So right now, one of my current little projects, let's, yeah, yeah, let's call them projects. Self-improvement projects. So I'm gonna call it. So one of my current self-improvement projects right now is that 
I'm not going to take people's unwanted bullshit anymore because it's 2013 and why do I still have unwanted bullshit in 2013? This is the future. This isn't even where I'm even supposed to be here right now, okay? So it should, it should work out. Also, I'm going to try to start planning more time for me to do things that I want to do instead of just, you know, going out with my friends and Marco and not getting stuff done and doing things that I want to do. So yeah, those are my two little New Year's projects. And I'm also, I've um, cut soda out of my diet and I'm just drinking water. Notice though, notice, you need to notice this, need to, needs to be specified and clarified. I said I'm cutting soda out, not Red Bull. So pretty much I'm going to drink water and Red Bull, which that's fine. That's healthy. Totally. So, yeah, that's my 2012-2013 story. What's yours? Do you have any New Year's resolutions? How do you feel about New Year's resolutions? Because, you know, I think we clarified that I kind of think they suck. So, yeah, tell me what you think down below in the, you know, below section. And... Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, because I like subscribers, yeah? More people obsessed with me? Ah! And hit that like a like a like a like button. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later, and have a good 2013. Yeah, have a good 2013, because it's 2013 now! Holy shit! I just want to clarify something really fast because in the entire video you can only see the hot, the hot pot, the hot pot of my sweater. You can only see the top half of my sweater and it just says pink and it kind of looks like a Victoria's Secret, a Victoria's Secret sweater and it's not. Okay, and I need to clarify because this sweater is way more awesome than Victoria's Secret. See? See? Oh! Bet you weren't ex- <laughs> Bet you weren't expecting-